Now, the aim is to get... One of the aims is to get good coralline algae in your aquarium. It is not the be-all and end-all. So you definitely do not want to freak out if you're not getting nitro, if you're not getting coralline algae in the tank. But if you have got a really well-established tank and you don't have coralline algae, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you introduce coralline algae. So add some pieces of rock that have already got coralline algae on them because it's hard to grow grass if you don't have grass sort of thing so you want to make sure you've got coral and algae in the tank in this case they have because there's definitely some coral and algae down there but across most of the rock there's really not too much coral and algae so assuming you've got coral and algae in the tank if it's a well-established tank and you're not getting coral and algae that means that there's probably something that you need to have a look at so you need to look at all your major stuff first make sure your temperature is not too warm Make sure your pH is not too low. So look at all your major things and just see if that's actually right. Then if in doubt, the next thing I would do is um, look at your minor things. Because it could just be that your major issues are ticked, but there could be an issue in your minors. Now, there's not really conventional test kits for your minors. So what you can do is you can get a Triton test and send it off to Triton and then that can give you a guide of maybe what's lacking. Because at the end of the day, your corals and your coral and algae should be growing and thriving. And if it's not growing and thriving, you've really got to look at what is there too much of or what is there not enough of. And if it's not apparent in the conventional tests that we do, then send away a Triton test and you may find the answers within the Triton test because this, the um, Triton test will bring, will allow you to find out what all the minor levels are.